Okay guys, so I am here now with Ferk. We are working on his 2021 Camaro LT1 today. Uh, Ferk, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for having me. Uh, we have a baseline dyno for his car. I should post the link right here. Um, but we are trying to get some go fast parts on the car going forward. So Ferk, why don't you take us through some of the parts we are putting on your car today. Um, so today we have the uh, LT2 intake manifold going on the car. Okay, um, tell us a little bit about that part. Uh, so the LT2 intake manifold comes from the brand new Corvette engine. Um, it's a lot bigger than the uh, LT1 uh, stock intake that we have on the Camaro. Um, and it's just gonna, you know, obviously a lot bigger. It's gonna allow more air to go into the engine. Um, more air means more power. Okay, uh, what's next? Uh, next we have the LT5 95 millimeter uh, throttle body, which comes from the uh, Corvette ZR1. Okay, and uh, what's that gonna do? Um, so that throttle body is obviously bigger than the one that comes stock on the LT1, which I believe is an 87 millimeter. Um, it's a lot bigger, it's gonna allow more air to flow in. We said before, more air means more power. Excellent, all right, what's next? Next, we have the Rotofab cold air intake. Um, cold air intake is better than the stock box. Once again, it's gonna allow more air to flow into the engine. More air is gonna give us more power. Awesome. So, what else do we have in those boxes over there? Uh, we have the uh, Mishimoto catch can, oil catch can, and an E85 flex fuel kit, as well as a 160 degree thermostat. Okay, what is the catch can gonna do for you? The catch can, I have no idea. Someone <laughs> said to get it, and I got it. So, uh, next, the thermostat, uh, what is that gonna do for the car? So the uh, thermostat, uh, once again, I have absolutely no idea what it does. Check that on the forums, and it's a good thing to have on your car, so I got it. It's lower than the, uh, whatever the stock temperature is. This one's 160. So I'm assuming it's gonna have the engine cool faster. I guess it does. <laughs> okay. Whatever, it's on there. And uh, last, but not least, the flex fuel kit. Uh, what's that gonna help us do? So the uh, flex fuel kit, uh, it's actually one that I'm very excited about because uh, I've done a little bit of research um, and just doing E85 gets you about like, 25 to 30 uh, real wheel horsepower on its own. Uh, so I'm very excited about it. Uh, good thing about this kit, it allows you to run both E85 um, and 93. Once it's tuned to it, uh, you can fill it up with both and the tune will adjust to the uh, alcohol content. Ethanol alcohol, same shit. <laughs> Fucking ethanol is alcohol, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the two E85 gas stations, I think, here in North Jersey are about 30 minutes away from me. Um, so I'll pop down there every once in a while and pick up some E85, but it's very convenient that when I can't get down there, I could just throw on some 93 and the tune will adjust for it. Awesome. So just so everyone at home knows, we are in North New Jersey. It is the 3rd of March and we are working in some frigid temperatures. I don't, I don't know who we is, but I'm outside working on the car. So, it's freezing out. It's literally below freezing. But we're out here getting our, our hands and knuckles dirty. Yeah, just getting all these parts on the car to make it faster. Uh, I want to thank everyone for tuning in, checking out the video. A shout out to some more sponsors. Uh, Diamond Rock Water, Wear Welding, and Relentless Athletics. Also, huge shout out to the, uh, the men and women over at ZZP. Uh, awesome product. Uh, always helping us out. Uh, anybody else? Uh, I actually wanted to give a shout out to, uh, uh, he's out based in Texas, uh, Mesquite, Texas, I believe. Instagram 454Chewy, that's 454Chuy. Uh, I actually purchased the LT2 intake manifold and the throttle body, had them uh, shipped straight to him. He took care of me, uh, did all the porting. It was in a matter of what, 24, 48 hours, he had these things out to me very fast service the porting came out beautiful um we're just really i'm you know me personally i'm very very excited to see what kind of gains we're going to get out of this um he has excellent reviews one of the best porters around 
um, check them out. Let's head to the garage and uh, see what's going on. So as you can see, or maybe you can't see, we're, we're kind of running low on daylight. Uh, we started this in the afternoon. It's, uh, it's sunset. We have done most of the install ourselves. Uh, we've now left the rest of the install up to this guy right here. John, why don't you walk us through what you're finishing here? What I'm finishing is the 90, 90 millimeter throttle body that Ferk was talking about. This here is the ZZP spacer. Due to the fact that this is the Corvette throttle body, it's got a different bolt pattern than the intake manifold itself. So you do need this, this spacer. You can see right here, it kind of goes in on one angle and it's just a bit off. So this is where the one bolt is here. This is where the bolt comes in to the throttle body spacer. This is the big ass intake manifold. And we're just kind of hooking it all back up now. A little project uh, John's been working on. 
Estimated arrival date, 2033. <laughs> it's not like you. So I'm back with Ferk. Still cold. Ferk, uh, what is it like to install parts when you can't feel your hands? Uh, it's been very tough on me. I've had a hard time all day uh, installing all these parts. Uh, but when I needed a break, John stepped right in and uh, he's able to, to do some work himself. John has helped us out. He finally picked up a screwdriver for the first time. Let's, uh, let's get a quick look at him. There he is. Uh, again, I think this is the first part he's put on the car by himself. Uh, we really needed a break. It's, it's freezing out. take everybody through what you helped install today. So today, uh, I was actually able to take the uh, gaskets off the LT1 intake manifold and place them on the new manifold. A uh, little greasy, a little tough, but got them in there. All the gaskets? All of them, all eight. How many gaskets? <laughs> all, eight, all eight of them. Oh yeah, I thought that's it. Okay, it's completely convincing one. So, in addition to uh, the fact that, no, I shouldn't say that, right. <clears throat> if you can hit like, subscribe, we would really appreciate it. Last shout out to Evil Twin Cycles on Instagram for helping with the install today. He, uh, he really aided us a little bit here and there, uh, threw a little extra elbow grease. Otherwise, we did the install basically ourselves. Work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I should do.